Welcome back, conspirators. You know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go kill some snakes here. I'm trying to figure out what other room Wait. I'm trying to figure out what other room this key unlocks I don't remember and it's not the one down in the main lobby it's on the first floor doesn't unlock that, doesn't unlock that. Oh, I bet you unlocks that outside area where the boiler is. Yeah, that's it. We'll go, we'll go do that after. Okay. Why is, why are you here? Can't be afford to be wasting these shotgun shells, man. It's like I can't tell if these zombies are respawning or or what. Okay, let's get these herbs. Um Yeah, let's we better take them both. I don't know how many shotgun shells it's going to take to kill this thing, but I know when I played with Jill, it took like four bazooka shots and it was, the fight was over. But then the time before that, I hit it with like, I don't know, six or seven acid rounds and shotgun shells and it just swallowed me whole. So maybe it's just random. Just unload. There's not really anywhere to run in here, so that's been the strategy. Just unload. Chris. I'm already poisoned. Run. God, it's got me, like, wrapped up. I can't... Yeah. That's right, you run away. I thought that thing was gonna, like, strangle me to death. It, like, haven't had it wrapped itself all around me, man. I'm actually wondering, too... Is, do you even have to fight this? Because can you just run back here, pick this up, and be on your merry way? I don't know. It's like, if I decide to do another playthrough of this, I'll, I'll have to try that strategy. <sighs> so now I'm poisoned. Naturally. I don't even know if I've seen... I don't even know if I have a blue herb, do I? Have it with you? You're a medic. So this is kind of cool. I guess we get to play as uh, Rebecca. That's yeah, it's the same room. Wait. Equip your gun, you nutcase.
I don't even know if there's anything for her to fight. Um, I need to go on the other side, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's cool to play as you, Rebecca, but I don't even think there's anything for you to fight. I think I've killed everything. If I had known that, I would have left some zombies. Because you got 15 bullets, you could take down two, at least. Let's see, yeah, everything should be dead in here, yeah. So, so far, there has been small differences uh, between Jill's run and this run. So, that's, that's cool that they do that. It's like you just get to replay the whole game again with, with uh, differences in this, it looks like, in characters and stories. So, like, I haven't heard anything from Barry. Does she have anything in her... Oh, she can't even open it. That's interesting. I was like, I was wondering if we could like leave items in the crate for each other. I don't know. It's like, I'm assuming we're going to get to like do this again throughout the game, but it's like, that would have been cool if we could like swap items for each other to help each other out, but she can't even open the crate. I don't actually though, you know what? Shout out to these magical crates that just appear and they just, you know, hold our weapons for us, you know? What would we do without them? like I still can't tell if doing this serum run is this like a timed event like if you take too long does Chris die that's what I was kind of wondering about um Jill's run because did I take could I actually save that guy right there on the floor I don't know like I tried to get it as fast as I could but maybe there is a time limit <laughs> Chris <laughs> like dead man Saved him. Right? Just in time. Yeah. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Uh, my head is killing me. I think you will be alright because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. Me too, Rebecca. So do you just stay? Okay, that's that's kind of bizarre. <laughs> she just stays frozen like that. I was like, again, I don't understand why you're not coming with me, but it's a discussion for another day. Okay, so we have me heal. Because I still have to go... Yeah, you know what? Let's go down to the first floor, because we got to use that key on that final room. There's got to be... I know there should be like a ton of health in that room, so... But... I'm going to have to waste some shotgun shells getting through like the two dogs there. And then I think there's like three dogs outside. So we're probably going to use up all of our ammo. Yeah, we should have enough. 
And then that will free up some inventory spots once we ditch the key and the ammo to collect the herbs and... I think that's all that was in that room. Dude. Or maybe I can just run by these dogs? Nope. <laughs> that answers that. How? Oh, you can shoot two at a time. Nice. There wasn't anything here, right? No. Let's see if there's anything here. Clip, but I don't have. I mean, I gotta take it. I can't pass up on ammo. Ammo is so scarce with Chris, so I gotta take it. Okay, so this. Yeah, this was that. Wait, what? There's still another door I need to use this on? Hmm. Dude, turn around. Dude. <sighs> Alright, is there anything in here? Nothing strange. Yeah, there's like a crap ton of health in this room. I can only take one herb though. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a run solely just to come back and get all these herbs. Just take care of you now. I gotta come back here. There we go. Okay, so what other room does this key open? Is it the one out in the main? It's gotta be the one out in the main lobby. Let me go back out there. Like, mm, yeah, is that this way? Yeah, I just want to go check on this really quick because if this key doesn't open this door, then I don't know where the hell it goes. And it's still in my inventory. What in the world, man? What does what else do I have to unlock with this? That door over there on the left doesn't open. What is wait, what is dad's helmet key? That last room, that's where the uh crests go. Maybe this key opens up the door that's in here. I don't know. I'm like so confused as to where this key is. Wait, what is that? Clip, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I've got plenty of health now. Or not health, uh, ammo. Ah, oh, there's a desk, I knew it. in here ink ribbon damn I actually need an ink ribbon too I don't think I have any more you don't have the key for the see that I never went into that room either with Jill it says you don't have the key like where's the key 
All right, I'm gonna have to come back here. I'm gonna have to seriously just do two full runs to the crate just to collect all this stuff and bring it back to the crate. Okay, so let me... Yeah, let's go this way. Luckily, the save room and the cray is not that far away. It's going to take just a couple minutes to do this. But you, you got to do it, conspirators. I mean, otherwise, you're not going to survive this game. You got to backtrack, cross your I's, dot your T's, man. Or I said that, yeah, reverse that. <laughs> it's like Willy Wonka, reverse that. Um, yeah, I've been in there. Okay, now we'll go through the silver door. Wow, oh, there's that vomiting zombie in here, right? Wait, I don't, yeah, I don't have ammo. He's in here, right? Where'd he go? That's so strange that these guys... Did I kill them last time? I don't remember. It's like these zombies just have a mind of their own throughout this run. They just, sometimes they pop up, sometimes they go away. Alright. Um, we're going to... Get the Beretta. And we're going to get... We're going to just do all these crests really quick. Yeah, let's just go take care of that. Let's just go do this really quick just to get those out of the way and then we'll go back and collect the herbs and whatnot. I was just thinking I don't have to... <gasps> God damn! What are you doing here? Dude! Damn zombies won't cut you a break, man. Dude, I'm shooting you from like a foot away. How are you alive? There's dogs in here. Yep. Is it just one of you? Please let there just be one of you. Let me just see what's in this room really quick. I was just thinking, um, I don't have to go back and get that stuff now, but I think it would be preferred because I certainly don't want to do it when the hunters are out and about at the mansion. Ooh, there is something over here. What is this? Oh, small key. I'll take it. There's the crank. Okay, so I don't need that right now. I'll get that when I come back. Okay. All right, let's go get these herbs and other items. Unlock that desk, see what's in there. I'm still confused what that mansion key opens. Like, what am I missing? Okay, 
so let's, yeah, we're going to go get, actually, we're going to go do an herb run. Let's go to that one room, go to the boiler area, go get all those herbs. I'm going to take a gun with me just in case. It's like, I swear these zombies are just like respawning at random. really quick Leave no herb behind. There's no red ones out here, though. I swear Jill had red ones. Just to be on the safe side, let's just fully heal. All right, let's go dump these back in the storage bin. I feel like this is, you know, going the extra mile here. This will this will play off uh, later on in the game when I'm like searching for health and I can just be like, oh yeah, I got like six herbs in my storage box. Yeah, if you're not a, if you're not a gamer that's up for some backtracking, then this is not the game for you. You got to just constantly backtrack. Okay. Let's go dump these. Um, yeah, we actually we need the small key to open that desk. Okay. Now let's go do that. Labyrinth. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I know it's like kind of redundant, but like I'm not leaving this stuff behind. And I, I sure as hell ain't am not gonna try and uh, collect this stuff when those hunters are in the area. take it thank you see going the extra mile this is this is what it's about right here you get rewarded also need to collect this ink ribbon in here I don't think I have any ink ribbons I don't I'm not gonna kill you if I don't have to I'm gonna I might need the bullets Okay, there should be some herbs over here. Come on. Look at that guy crawl, man. It's like, I want to kill him so bad, but I'm not wasting bullets if I don't have to. All right, 
was going to go take this back to the storage bin. Um, let's save it. And then let's also try and figure out where the hell do I use that key? It says I, I still have it and there must be one room somewhere that I have not used it in. And I have no idea where it is. And it's probably a gold mine too. actually wondering if it's that room right up above the stairs here. It's like the room before that fireplace. I wonder if it's that. I don't know if I've been in there yet. I'll check really quick once I get back here. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Just a couple minutes. Get all that stuff. Okay. I know one thing, this game definitely teaches you to play smart, like make every bullet count, conserve inventory, like make smart decisions. It's a small key. Let me, you know what? I probably should take that, put that in, put that in. mansion key. I just want to check something really quick. Is it the room I'm thinking of? That's helmet key. Can't get in that room and can't get in that room. So it's not on the first floor. It's got to be that room up here. Yeah, it's that room right up there. Yeah. All right, let's go check that room out really quick first. Before we go meandering out into the courtyard. Yeah, it's the room right up here. I got so distracted with the zombies in this hallway that I completely forgot about this door right here. I'm trying to remember what the heck is in this room. Really? Dude. He, oh. Yeah, he's dead now. Oh, God, I got five bullets. Why did I not bring my shotgun? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this room. What's in this? Oh yeah, I'll take that. Seems someone has searched here already. Appears to be a switch. Yep. Doesn't that drain the uh, aquarium? So I gotta push this first, right? Yeah. Take it. Go check this desk. Researchers will. Yeah, we've already read that with Jill. It's well arranged. Okay. Go check out the other room. And then we'll be finished up here. Uh, I think this room had like the two beds in it, didn't it? Ooh, there we go. There's some red herb. That's the lighter. You know what I just realized? I gotta go back all the way to that snake room and light those candles <laughs> and see what's in that room. I guarantee you there's like a box of shotgun shells or something in there. 
Is there something in here? Oh, it looked like a red herb right there. Well, we can at least go light the uh, fireplace up here, get the map, although, I don't know, it's not going to do us any good. We've already searched every dang room in this place. But just for the sake of completion, let's just go do it. Apparently I was supposed to do that like a long ass time ago. Well, you know what? That room with the candles is like right out here. Yeah, let's just go do it. All these little nuances, man, that just keep popping up. It's like, how dare you go to the courtyard area, you know? It's like, I keep finding all these little nuances. Gotta get the herbs, gotta get the ink ribbon, gotta unlock the desks, gotta light the candles, gotta light the fireplace. <sighs> At least there's just plenty of stuff to do in this game, that's for sure. It keeps you busy. It's like, I like it. Dude, we don't want to push it that way. Alright, come to the candle. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, yep, shotgun shells. Yeah, we got 28 of those. Nice. Anything else? Alright, All right, now we're finally done with this mansion area for right now. Whew, man, that was a lot of stuff that we just did in this video. Now yeah, let's just go save it, just to be sure. That's weird that he doesn't come to life. I know there's like lots of rooms like if you're somebody new that's just trying to like get into this game um it might seem like it's overwhelming but don't worry about it like once you spend like an hour or two in this mansion you kind of remember where things are and get like the general layout of the mansion it's not that bad let's dump that this that we need the shotgun. Now let's go save it. All right, conspirators, that's it for today. I uh, hope you all enjoy your day, and as always, stay charming. See you in the next one.